Olympic athletes often dazzle us with their incredible performances. But have you ever noticed how some of them look totally different from when they first started? Whether it's through years of grueling training, lifestyle changes, or just the natural process of aging, these athletes' transformations are pretty fascinating. Let's take a closer look at how some of your favorite Olympians have changed over time. Notable athletes who have changed drastically. The sportsmen and women are deemed to go through a lot of transformations in their careers due to change in training, training schedule, and competitions. Swimming is one of the most popular sports that demand muscular power and mental endurance, and it provides many examples of this process. The two most famous swimmers of the sport, Michael Phelps and Katie Ledecky, demonstrate how the athlete can change from childhood to the prime years. Swimming stars, Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps first tasted fame during the Athens Olympics of the year 2004. He was a swimmer for the United States at the age of 19 when the incident took place. Phelps, who is tall and skinny and a target for his ability, clinched six gold and two bronze in the event that was the beginning of his splendid career. He had a gangling build and an almost unearthly breadth of shoulder, which suggested that he would be a good swimmer. His early career can be described as youthful performances, which are an excellent sign of talent and potential. In the course of Phelps' career, he has undergone a dramatic transformation in terms of his body build. By the Beijing Olympics, Phelps had lost some of the extra flab and was a smoother swimmer when he won eight gold medals. He had increased in size at the shoulder, the chest was more developed, and the abdomen was little. This change was as a result of hard training and a strict diet plan that was laid down to improve his performance. The change in his body was even more evident by the time of the 2012 London Olympics and the 2016 Rio Olympics where he was cut and muscular. It was not only in physical terms but also in the ways of training which he adopted new methods and technology. Phelps's transformation is quite revealing to show how much competitive swimming has evolved. There are new courses in training, diet and nutrition, and sports psychology, which have developed and have played a part in the physical and mental change of athletes like Phelps. His transformations are evidence of the fact that training programs that have embraced strength conditioning and techniques have assisted the swimmers to push an extra inch. In addition, underwater cameras and data analytical tools have made it easier for the athletes to determine the best ways of moving in water. Katie Ledecky. Katie Ledecky first competed in the Olympics in the 2012 London Olympics when she was only 15 years of age. She shocked the swimming fraternity by emerging the winner in the 800 meters freestyle and was second in the 400 meters freestyle. Back then, Ledecky was not a muscular woman with large bones and thick thighs, but rather a swimmer with great endurance and technique. Her early performances demonstrated her potential with most of the attention being given to her ability to sustain a high speed over a long distance. Over the years, as Ledecky grew and developed in her swimming, her body changed to accommodate her new level of competition. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, she had a more muscular and powerful look due to the training and the physical nature of the sport. She had well-built shoulders and legs, and her body shape was proof of the many years of training and discipline. The change in Ledecky was therefore a product of physical maturation, as well as changes in training and preparation. The physical change of Ledecky is a classic example of the rigors of swimming, especially in long-distance races. The sport has developed to include not only the ability to run fast, but also to be able to run for long distances and with strength. Ledecky's transformation shows the need to get the swimmers' bodies into the right shape to be able to withstand the rigors of training, competition, and recovery, as well as to get the right diet. Her development is typical for the modern swimming where athletes are required to be in perfect physical shape and to set new records every time. Track and field legends Usain Bolt and Allison Felix In the course of the years, athletics has brought forth many legends but none has been as influential as Usain Bolt and Allison Felix. The two have made their imprints in the history of sports by making fantastic accomplishments, changing and revolutionizing their sports. In this study, 
the interest is on their initial years in the sport, alteration in their physical appearance, and impact of the changes on their sprinting performance, Usain Bolt. During the Beijing Olympics that was held in 2008, Usain Bolt introduced himself to the world as a charming and talented athlete who was equally as fast as lightning. Bolt was only 21, but he was not afraid to make his presence felt. He was simply outstanding in Beijing. He was able to take gold in 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x 100 meters relay with world records in all the races. Bolt's best performance can be marked in the 100 meters final where he broke the world record by 9. 69 seconds, a record which was to be broken again and again and set the benchmark as to what man can achieve in terms of speed. Bolt's physical presence was striking. He was 6 feet 5 inches tall and his long legs and the way he walked was something that could be described as otherworldly. He was a giant among the giants and his power and speed was that of a sprinter of the highest order. His running style was explosive, powerful and unique as he had a peculiar upright posture that was different from most of the other athletes. Years ago, Usain Bolt changed a lot both physically and in terms of his image. Since the beginning of his career in 2008, his physical appearance changed due to improvements in his sprinting and the general adjustments to the body in light of the competitive nature of his sport. Bolt's body underwent notable changes. He put on muscles and his body shape got leaner and more toned. This change was also precipitated by the fact that he underwent intensive training and the desire to achieve the best. His training concentrated on developing raw strength and improving his technique on the sprints. Over the years of his career, Bolt has gained a more muscular upper body, which helped him in his powerful starts and acceleration due to his powerful legs. Bolt's physical transformation was also a result of his athletic development. Proper nutrition, weightlifting, and the science of sports had a lot to do with the kind of body he had. He had to change to the requirements of sprinting by strengthening his muscles and getting in better physical shape so that he could sustain his speed throughout the race. All these factors allowed Bolt to stay on top of his sprinting game for a relatively long time. It is worth noting that Usain Bolt's body changed amazingly well to the rigorous task of sprinting. This was well seen in several areas of his performance. This was due to his physical transformation where he was able to produce a lot of force off the starting blocks and maintain good speeds over the distance. Bolt's long legs and an effective running style enabled him to take fewer steps as he ran and thereby get ahead of his competitors. Bolt's physical change was not only reflected in his performance, but also in the way sprinting was done. His success underlined the necessity of the individual approach in training and the necessity for athletes to transform their bodies according to the specific type of their sport. Bolt's ability to run fast up and through his 30s proved that the current training methods and sports science knowledge are capable of prolonging an athlete's career. Allison Felix Allison Felix started competing at the Olympic level in 2004 in Athens at the age of 18. Felix was also an athlete in the 200 meters event, and she was among the fastest and most technical runners. As it was anticipated, she did not clinch a gold in Athens, but her performance was good for raw talent. Felix was second in the 200 meters and was in the U.S. relay team that won gold in the 4x100 meters relay. From the early years of Felix, it was evident that she was a talented and a very versatile sprinter. She had a good style of running characterized by fluency and economy. She laid emphasis on the force she used in the last stages of the race. At that time, Felix was only 18 years old, but she was a good sprinter, a powerful player, and she also had good thinking on the field. In the course of the career of the athlete, Allison Felix, the body of the woman underwent certain changes that were quite noticeable. Since she first appeared in 2004, Felix's body conformed to the demands of being a sprinter. Her body shaped muscles and got toned up because of the training and conditioning that is required for a professional sportswoman. Muscle mass increased in Felix, particularly her legs and her tummy that gave her power and acceleration. 
Her upper body also became more slender, contributing to her strength and balance while in races. This physical change was as a result of a training program which included weight training, plyometric, and speed training. Felix's transformation of the body was not only for the purpose of aesthetics but for functionality. Her muscles and strength developed in such a manner that she was able to generate more power in her races and also maintain her high speeds. Her training was focused on the preparation of the first effort, the ability to sustain the sprints and the general technique, which contributed greatly to her performances in both single and relay events. The change in training methods in track and field is the change represented by Allison Felix. Her success showed that it's a big mistake to have only strength conditioning programs, technical workout and tactical preparation, but it's necessary to have all three of them. Felix's ability to align her body in a manner that would answer the calls of sprinting is a sign that the fields of sports science and training methodologies have advanced. This is also evident by the fact that there is more emphasis on personal training as depicted by the change in Felix's physique. Modern players are starting to focus much on their personal training regimes that are designed for their capabilities. The transformation of Felix demonstrates that it is only feasible to train and develop athletes with the help of combining traditional techniques and approaches with the contemporary ones. His career has also assisted in the revelation of how women athletes can prepare their bodies for the best performing state. This has made young female sprinters to follow her example and include strength training and conditioning in their preparations. Simone Biles a force of nature in gymnastics. Simone Biles became popular in the year 2016 during the Rio Olympics and became famous very fast. She was only 19 years old and of a petite stature. She only measured 4 feet 8 inches. She was not tall and thin as most of the gymnasts used to be. She was short and muscular. Biles' muscular build was a sign of things to come in gymnastics. Strength and dynamism would be the way to go. In Rio, Biles astounded the world with her routines, which can be best defined as anti-gravity. Her muscular legs and her strong stomach gave her the ability to perform very dangerous flips and twists, which nearly could not be performed. Her last performance, which she called the Biles on the floor exercise, was a double layout with half turn, and the audience and the judges stood up to applaud. The physical appearance of Biles during these games was a clear testimony of the efforts and training that had been put in place to produce her into an unbeatable gymnast. Her muscles were not just for show. She had the muscles that propelled her to give both the technical and the glamorous performances. Biles is still in competition after the 2016 Olympics and has developed even more as a gymnast and as an individual. Physically, she has become more muscular especially the shoulders and arms, which are much more developed than before. This is not because of aging, but a proof of constant and hard practice that Biles does every day. This has given her the muscle power to challenge the limits in gymnastics as to what can be accomplished. For instance, Biles did Biles the seconds on the floor exercise in 2019. It is a double twisting, double backflip that requires strength and balance. Biles's physique has also evolved over the years, and she has embraced the changes that are natural as they are. This transformation from a teenage prodigy to a grown-up sportswoman is well captured by her looks. She is now strong, as when she was a young woman, but she also has the steadiness of a mature woman. Her physiques are captured in the manner of a gymnast who is in the competition not just for the medals, but for the transformation of the sport. These transformations of Simone Biles are not only visual, they are significant to the world of gymnastics in a big way. Her muscularity is a sign of change in the image of the gymnast's body, a body that is not delicate and thin, but muscular. This shift is important in a sport in which people are evaluated based on their figure. Biles has been able to show that it is all right, in fact very healthy to be strong and muscular. She has influenced a generation of gymnasts to embrace their bodies, to train muscles rather than being concerned with the silhouette of the body. The influence is not only related to Biles's performances, but also in other aspects. 
She has also brought about the changes in the coaching and judging of gymnastics. It has taken her the level of difficulty of the sport to a new level that some changes in the scoring systems and the way routines are evaluated have been made. She has raised the bar for gymnastics and gymnasts around the world are working extra hard to increase the power and flexibility to meet the challenges that Biles has introduced in gymnastics. Nastia Lukin, Grace and Elegance in Gymnastics. During the Olympics that were held in Beijing in the year 2008, Nastia Lukin was one of the most elegant gymnasts. She was 5 feet 3 inches tall and indeed taller than most of her fellow models, and as such she had a rather thin frame. This physique allowed her to execute moves in a fluid motion, and this made her trademark. She had long limbs and was trained classically in Russia, which was a boon in a sport that requires equal beauty and strength. In the Beijing Olympics, I found Lukin's performance in the uneven bars and the balance beam exercises rather intriguing. She was slender, and in a way this enabled her to dance and do so with grace, and the most complicated steps appeared to be accomplished with relative ease. Her body was perfect for the kind of movements that these functions entailed. Besides the physical skills, Lucan had a graceful look and a sweet temper, which made her have a graceful and professional look in her routines. But it is essential to remember that like any other person, Lucan's body has changed after the Olympics 2008 and gymnastics to the next stage in her life, which is life after gymnastics. While she has remained thin, the cut muscular look that is relevant in the sport has reduced. This is not strange for a retired gymnast who no longer practices as he or she used to when in active gymnast service. Lucan's change also shows how gymnastics has been transformed through the years. During her competitive period, the sport was more of art and the manner in which the athletes performed. Dancers like Lucan were appreciated for elegance with the dances having some aerobics flexibility. Training was more focused on the lines and increasing the aesthetic scores, which was seen in Lucan's figure. Today, however, gymnastics has undergone certain changes and now aims at the power and hence the degree of difficulty of the movement. It now provides for gymnasts those who can do elements of the highest degree of difficulty with a high degree of accuracy and energy. While aesthetics are still relevant, the emphasis is put on the sports side of things. This transition is well illustrated by Lucan's post-retirement transformation from a beautiful gymnast to a new generation of muscle. Her transformation is not only her personal narrative, but also the narrative of the training of gymnasts in the last 10 years. In her days, gymnastics focused much on flexibility and aesthetics, inventing beautiful and complex movements. This was well demonstrated in 2008 when she surpassed her competitors by making elegance and difficulty go hand in hand. But the sport has evolved since Lucan's years and the modern training programs are much more oriented on strength and power, but still it remains elegant. The gymnasts of today train for more challenging exercises that imply that they require a different type of body structure. In the past, gymnasts were thin and bendy, while today performers are being outcompeted by those who are muscular and strong enough to perform the difficult stunts of gymnastics. Lucan's influence is still being felt in gymnastics to this day, as she still assists young gymnasts in emulating her fluidity. This is her legacy, an example of a time when elegance was crucial, no matter the fact that the sport has transitioned in a different direction. Her change is the best example of the continuous progress of this sport, where the degree of choreography and the level of acrobatics are always in progress. To see more shocking transformations, click on the video popping up on your screen now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest content. Thanks for watching.